They say with the stain formation, Porter, who now shifts. And the three receivers to the right. A quick pop again, and Collard. Kenneth Murray dumped Stevenson. Quick throws to Stevenson. This time they tried to bring him back inside. And Kenneth Murray. They'd love to see a rare three and out. And a great start to the Alex Grinch era as defensive coordinator. King running out of time. Man room, and he's down behind the line of scrimmage. But discipline. Watch number 40 just maintain the edge right here and not allow De'Eric King to get outside. He shadows him, he mirrors him, and he stays with good leverage. Kyle Porter back in at running back. And he took the handoff and got dumped by Kenneth Murray. Here he is right here. Watch him just read it, take a good angle to the football, and he's unblocked because he came from the second level. A total of five yards. Here's third and five for Houston. Haven't converted on three third downs yet. De'Eric King gets collared short of the first down by Kenneth Murray. Over 700 yards of offense. They are collapsing the pocket by rushing only three or four. And then Kenneth Murray, that's the one thing we knew about this defense. There's the tailback, senior out of Austin. The pistol behind De'Eric King, who is running out of time. Got hit by Kenneth Murray. He probably didn't realize how fast Murray is. Boy, he really can accelerate. You're right, at 240-plus pounds, I mean, he can really go. And he gets to the quarterback faster than De'Eric King thought he was going to get there. Where they're doing they're the ultimate. Mulvacar. That blasted Kenneth Murray in there again. He's calling the plays, but they need to find a faster way to get it in than uh, all the fly swatting over there. They come after King. He managed to get out of the pocket, but Kenneth Murray ran him down. You're not going to run away from him. Well, South Dakota was only 2 of 10 on third down last week versus Montana. High snap. Bring it down. Hand off to Brooks. He has to be there and take a look at where he goes. Where does he get past within one step? That's impressive. Versus Montana tied a South Dakota record with 11 receptions. For these OU defenders, play hard, play tough, and tackle well. Third down and nine of the 22. Duffy and he's sacked Kenneth Murray. Around the edge, here's Kenneth Murray, and he's just going to get on a speed rush, and he's going to win, get to Jet Duffy before Duffy has a chance to get that screen pass out. And again, pressure, pressure, pressure. So much more pressure this year. So instead of the first down, third down and short. Shine, not backwards, doesn't look like he'll get it. Check out all the linebackers for OU as they're going to get it right at the handoff. You got eyes in the backfield right here. Boom. All the eyes in the backfield. Then they converge. You got safeties up to help. That was Turner Yell, number 32. He comes up there to help. Jet Duffy has come in and stabilized the offense. On third down and one. And Texas Tech should be close to the first down. Had a great conversation with Les yesterday for a good half hour. A pump fake, Stanley's pass in traffic, nearly intercepted by Murray. Far in the first 18 minutes of this game, Kansas trying to eat up that clock. Williams wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Just outside the five-yard line for Kansas. Sooners with two timeouts remaining. And a huge hit by Kenneth Murray. Walloped Puka Williams. They will go down the field to Colin Johnson all the time today. A loss of two, second and 12. Ellinger underneath. Duvernay again. Whoa! Wow, oh, no flag. Where is that left hand? Tell you what, that is a pretty good no call. That hand is on the jersey under the face mask. You know, turnovers a lot of times are a matter of effort, and it certainly was there. Ellinger flips it out into the flats. Johnson, and he's wrestled down. At the line of scrimmage, Kenneth Murray. Sprint from his linebacker spot. Immediately, when you see that back go out, he's going out there and boom, wraps him up in the open field and creates that great play on the outside. This guy is fast and one of the best tacklers in the country. Texas has to test the Oklahoma secondary. They've been the weak spot on this team for the last couple of years. Third and 11. Sam Ellinger rolling. And Ellinger. Turns it up. How about the closing speed 
of Kenneth Murray. Ellinger's got a huge gap. Look where Murray's at right there. He's way behind the play, and he's still got to get all the way out to his right and make the tackle, and he closes like a bullet. 6'3", 302 pounds, third and 11. Sam Ellinger under pressure, sacked again! Kenneth Murray! In order to beat Clemson, this OU defense had to get better, and they are looking better right now under Alex Grinch. Gallimore, the nose tackle, he brought the center across, and Murray comes around and screams. And Let's see if Austin Kendall can get this West Virginia offense going first and 10. At the 22, he pulls it out, drops it down, and he... Virginia is their center position. There's Overton right in the middle of that defensive line. Third and six at the 23. Austin Kendall all day to throw. Now scrambles, wants to let it fly, does. Now you've got Kenneth Murray bearing down on you and just bam, right in the stomach. <laughs> He's spent a lot of time in the weight room. He's one of San Jose's finest, bravest firemen. And the run. There's nothing you can do. They're trying to run kind of a little bit of a draw right there. And Murray is just too fast. He closes it down. You're going to have to start taking some gambles. And if Kansas State calculates right, they can hurt you. Nowhere to go. Their strength, very deep at that position. And the true freshman, Brees Hall, one of the top recruits the program has ever had, has really gotten it going lately. Moves it all the way to the 41. First down and 10, Iowa State. Purdy like juggled it for a moment. Purdy couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Kenneth Murray. Our own identity on defense. We've used the word fail a couple times in our conversation based on what has happened the last couple of weeks, though. Second and long, Brewer took a look and now just takes off and he cannot escape Kenneth Murray. Watch seven in the back try to pick up a block. They're setting up that quarterback draw, but he doesn't even make a block. Love it. Slow to go out and attack Murray. So, the man who has two touchdowns tonight on the sideline for the moment on first down. Hasty around the edge quickly. Slams right into Kenneth Murray. He almost sets him up and then cuts behind them. Short throw, and the catch is made by Fleeks. I know about your family. I've read up on you. It sounds good, but until until his dad and, and uh, Charlie came on campus, he really didn't know much about it. We were delivers a shot across the middle. I mean, wow, you. He's been a master in tight games in the fourth quarter. With a handoff to Ebner. Back there getting back healthy. Murray's here. Safety late breaking down. Nobody picks him up, and I don't know where you can go if you're Ebner. Nice job there by TCU's second drive begins at the 25-yard line. And Tay Barber in the backfield. He swings out. Duggan looks his direction, then retreats with a pocket collapsing. Can't get around Kenneth Murray. Now he's right in the middle. He's got eyes on Max Duggan the entire way. And Oklahoma mixed it up a little bit this week. And Alex Grinch said they were not off the practice field until they had a three and out. Three positive reps for that first string defense. No matter how many it took during practice. Barber's the motion man on second and 15. With a deep drop, Duggan looks to set up the screen. And Kenneth Murray identifies and explodes. To your point, Joe, diagnose it. He watches those linemen get out. But here's the key, splitting those two right there. And the true freshman quarterback, Max Duggan, on first and ten, runs the option. Gets it off to Anderson, who's pushed out by Murray. On the number six in this state. Will Baker Mayfield look to him? Here comes Stoner. Looking for a cutback lane, won't find it. Much improved this year with a new coordinator, Alex Grinch. On second and 17, short pass over the middle. For Baylor, they've won first down. Run a total of seven plays. The eighth is Brewer on the run. Bradley Heil seemed to be answering the questions pretty adamantly as if he believes he's okay. Brewer's going to run again and does not get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's Murray. He goes right by the blocker and right into the backfield to get Murray. Or Brewer. Third down and three. Two minutes gone by second quarter. It's been all Oklahoma leading 10 to nothing. Brewer changing direction, running out of time, and Murray clubbed him to the ground. Murray was on the other side. He was going to cover the back, and as soon as he saw the quarterback scramble, you see that elite closing speed. 
Justin Ebner, Jamichael Hasty, the running backs. Ebner on the right of Bohannon, who's getting blitzed. Got it away to Jamichael Hasty, but it's for a loss. Which takes them back to the edge of field goal range. Still no sign of Charlie Brewer. So the backup, Gary Bohannon, continues. That pass over the middle, batted down by Kenneth Murray. Here he was wobbly when he got up from that hip. Taken for further evaluation and has not returned since. Bohannon tackled around the legs by Kenneth Murray. And that's their ninth first down play and their eighth pass, which is also a big difference from what LSU ever was on in football. Chris Curry got rocked by K-9. Watch Kenneth Murray beat the block of Sadiq Charles. He uses his quickness. He gets by the tackle into the backfield.